completely wrong. Hey, that happens. That's okay. <laughs> right on. We're on to PS2 to start. Let's get into it. Let's see. Man, off the, off the bat, there's so much damage getting thrown out, but... Uh, I mean, Abbas is kind of uh, he's kind of struggling so far. Mm -hmm. But then again, uh, his partner is only at 18 percent. So Ooh. yeah, but at 115 percent, you got to be very concerned, especially with characters as strong oh as kill like Snake. I don't know. I didn't even see that the bomb being planted or anything. Yeah. Let's see. Amdod is trying to float away here, but... And it's working! <laughs> He's at 100%! Coco's so far off stage, not gonna move him. Uh, and killed his uh, partner. Wave C pools. That's what happened. Oh, I'm at D pool, so I don't have to... Oh, wait, unless you're in C. Yeah, I don't know. I got you. Uh, anyways. Let's see. Amdod trying to do the dare, but then uh, Ivy Sword just coming out with a nair, getting Woo! multiple damage. That up tilt, yeah. Torch is uh, still feeling pretty confident. 115 on his third stock. Ooh, that sound is just a little too slow. Ooh, Nikita. Oh, catching with the up tilt. See, this is why Snake is so good off stage. So we're planning Nikita. He has certain options that he could do just to take that stock. Up oh, tilt. wait. Huge one. Oh, oh, uh oh. Oh, he makes it back. He's got down B techs on lock. I believe that was an air dodge into uh, up just to grab that ledge. Yeah, he had to use uh, his C4 to be able to get his up B back, though. Okay. Gotcha. Very good recovery from Amdod. He uh, definitely still feeling pretty confident. Ooh, ooh! Almost taking that stock, but no one died up there. Yeah, very high up, but no bodies taken. Oh, that up tilt manages to take uh, Abassi's second stock, actually. Uh, both of uh, Coco and Amdad above 100%. Torch and Abassi need to find a way in. Ooh, the down air. Pulling that Not running anything else. And that dare actually went way below that stage. Yeah. Wow, that's not good. Amdad dies too. Wow, and just like that, Torch and Abassi are back in the lead. See, you die, you die, and then maybe this person will die. But you know what? You're yeah. Oh, the dead. up smash! You're dead! You see, you die now. Everybody's in the last stock. The next person to take a stock is going to put their team to the lead. Ooh! Coco looking for something. Mario is Good so spacing. much right now. Abassi has to make it past all those up smashes. Coco Let's is Coco. just going with that up base strings. I mean, if it works, it works. That's what it is. Let's see, Nikita going down. Abassi dies, and now very well. Torch spotted has Nikita. to uh, make this comeback. Two v one. It isn't uh, unmanageable, but not the easiest thing to man do. I mean, it could be one. Ooh, there's a grab. Wait, oh, wow. that spot dodge is clean. F <laughs> smash from Coco. Coco not gonna look for a or forward air. There's Nikita. Ooh, Torch. <laughs> He's waiting. Oh, Call he the read spot the spot dodge. dodge. Gets the F smash. Uh, let's see. Up smash. Ooh, the back air into Nikita. And just like that, we're even. High percentage. Amdod versus Torch, 100%. Oh there's my roar. god! There's the F smash and there's game one. He was so close of losing ink right there. I thought he was going to Nearly ran it. out of ink. I thought he was going to lose it right yeah. when, when the roller hit. Because if he would have lost that ink right there, right. it wouldn't have caused that much knockback. Right. But again, again, I see a majority of uh, Inklings want to use Psybe at 100%. See Might as well just go for that and then get the stop. Oh, all right. Wish me luck. Cool. All right, for momentarily, uh, my name is Escape, and I will be doing single commentary for right here. I'll do my best, so please cheer me on while we cheer on these uh, the doubles match right here. I was very impressed by that last stock, last hit situation, but then he just took the advantage right here. Coco is trying to get some damage, but he's going to get some ink right here. 
Going in for the down A, up A, up A, up A stream. Maybe an up B. There he goes. I could kill, but no. Amdodge trying. Kenny's in the back here, right here. Getting off stage situation. Amdodge is doing perfect. That was a good shield by Amdog. And he had a grenade right there. I'm very impressed he had that right just to cause that roll. But Ivysaur dies right on top of the stage. Coco going low, but almost get edge guarded by Inkling. And here comes Adendog right there with the dash attacks. He's trying to get to a combo into an up tilt, maybe, but nope, gets pushed off stage. Oh my goodness, that traded causing Coco to take that stock even though he got smashed right down. So here comes uh, Coco going up for the up eight, up eight, up eight. Nope. Got a very good shield right towards it. So many characters in the middle of the stage. This is a whole bunch of chaos. Ivysaur is trying to do the true combo in the back air. Good, he got it. He got it. Dude, he spammed that down air just so uh, Amdog could not recover and it worked. Coco's a little bit off stage, but we got a shield break. Didn't even see it. Oh my goodness. So much chaos going on right here. Coco is going to try to do another down aim. What? Nope. We got full ink by uh, Inkling right here. Amdog's trying to use the Nikita to just get some damage onto this one. Not really working out. That was a good uh, dare by Coco, getting the Ivysaur a little bit off stage. Dash attack coming in from Amdog. And here comes a roller, but it misses. So it's even percentage, but no, here it comes with the up smash, and then Inkling dies off stage. This should be a back throw kill, and it does. And now we got Coco versus, oh, no, we got a, we got a 2v1 situation right here. So MDOD's taking away that stock. But we got so much ink going on right now. We're back into a uh, 2v2 right now. Oh, Amdog's using the grab, just getting him more damage for Mario. Okay, Coco's off stage. Let's see what happens. But Ivysaur's right there with the two frame. Dare! That was a huge dare by Ivysaur. I was really impressed by that play right there. Going for the roller, but it seems like they were right there with it. Amdog's got a whole bunch of grenades right there. Hopefully he doesn't blast himself. That was a good, good him off stage. Good, excellent, excellent calling it. <coughs> Using the down B just to uh, get off that roller. Back throw. Yep. Nikita. And he almost died because of it, but good thing he didn't even hit the stage. Otherwise, he could have just missed the tech. Up A, but nope. And Amdog calling uh, once again with that down B plant bomb. It saved him during this game. Not only just once, but twice. That's the thing about it. You gotta be aware of situations. Especially with doubles. I've noticed that if you're not aware of those downbeat plans, like, there's so much stuff going on that you just throw out a move and the next thing you know, you're dead. It's like the counter pick. Uh, escape. I am commentating right now, just by myself until we could find someone else. So I'm here to entertain you guys. Hopefully that we could uh, get some good good content very soon. There. So we're over here in game three. We got games of peace right here. There's no character switches. Smashville. This is gonna be very going in for the jab, but nope. Ivysaur could lose the stock, but no, he got out of it. Even at 30%, I do believe, yep, Mario's got that uh, small uh, percentage just, just to kill. A dare right there, but he just missed it. That was a huge stock bump from Coco just to take out the Inkling. Huge momentum base for Coco and Amdog right now. Charging force smash, and then stocks are being lost everywhere. And then once again, there's even more explosions going on in the middle of the stage. These players are just going at it like everything, just throwing out those buttons. Amdod! Text it! Can he go up B? He needs to do it again, and he's just done. 
but then forcing Coco to do a 2v1 situation. Not sure that's going to be a very good uh, situation for a blue, but good Nikita going to use the side B, forcing him to go up and then up tilt kill. I do believe that kills at 110 to at least 120% on Inkling. Well, it's a very good situation for Amdog just to use it. Amdog's looking a little bit blue here. Hopefully he doesn't get too much damage because he needs to stay away just a little bit, and he is. Good jab by Coco, but here comes uh, Ivysaur. Going in, throwing out those Vine Whips. And then we lose a stock, Coco just done. And then we got another stock going out. So many stocks are being lost. And we have the Charizard. I've not seen the Charizard out here before. But switching back to Squirtle, but you know what? Might as well go for Ivysaur. Ivysaur seems to be working throughout this uh, matchup, so. Coco trying to punish with a forward smash with Wiki. The offstage situation, but with the up smash causing Inkling to die. 2v1 situation, yes, 2v1. We got a back throw. Oh, Coco, that would have been nice if you would have connected with that fair. Coco trying to use his side B, but nope. Let's see how many options are going to be covered by this Nikita. And he just dies. Might as well. That was a very good situation by Abdom using that a missile. There's not really much uh, Ivysaur could have done. And even if he did get off stage or possibly rolled, um, Mario was just right there. Mario was also covering the top edge of the jump option. And then you have Amdog covering the get up option. So as long as he moves around there, all your uh, all your options are pretty much covered, especially with a uh, snake covering. What a, I would say like 80% of your options for Nikita. It's a very scary situation. Team Weep speak. Thanks for the host, man. Pokemon trainer. You have two, one, Torch of Debassy. Mm -hmm. So, how do I think that Coco and Amdod come back? It's basically try to limit your options, especially with those off stage. If this is a two v one situation. They did very well in that match. Oh, we got a Roy coming out. All right, this changes a whole bunch of game because you're not going to worry about ink, and ink also doesn't multiply your uh, damage here because there's no ink in here. But we're going on FD. And then Ivysaur brought the early stock. Good down A. And because the down A is so good, there's so much hit blast. Oh my goodness, Coco with the with a spike because you know what even though Coco was like you know what I got spiked earlier but I'm still gonna do a fair and taunt because you know what I'm still gonna style because I'm here guys Coco's still going for that fair option and on on the right side that was a good coverage but then Roy's coming out with that uh, heal with the sword And now we're back with uh, two stocks in peace with uh, Namu and Coco. Ivysaur still has three stocks, surprisingly, at high percentage. Going in with a dare, that's so good. Amdog coming back. Still coming back. He's just like, you know what? I'm just going to stay out here and stay away from the air. Come back on stage. Roy's trying to do an excellent job covering. Now he's grabbed. But the bomb actually explodes and doesn't hit Amdog, surprisingly. Good up smash by Coco. Good throw as well, taking out those stocks. Snake losing the stock right out of there. We got an up tilt by Roy. And then here comes uh, with the down throw combo. I'm surprised he didn't go for the up throw right there could, because he's down at 70%, but then he loses a stock because of it. That was a good bomb coverage, uh, exploring the bomb, so that way you don't get a uh, true combo. Now we are at one stock apiece. We got Ivysaur at 84 and on 96. They got to be very careful here. Coco and Roy going at it. We got grenades being thrown out of the middle of the stage. I'm very surprised that, like, you throw those uh, grenades, you don't even know who you're gonna get, yourself or your opponent or your ally. 
Coco is trying to get some water going up right up here, but not much to avail. How's it going, man? We're in a last stock situation, and here comes a stock. Ivysaur loses it. And here comes a forward smash, and Andon Coco takes it. How's it going? Uh, state your name while everybody uh, knows who you are. Hello, it's Gus. Gus, gotcha. So, how's your uh, tournament experience right now? As uh, we see Coco and Andon take game two. It was pretty bad. <laughs> pretty mad? <laughs> Glad? Bad. Bad? Why is yeah, it so bad? Is it too congested? Dude,